Hey friends, welcome to Minimalese. My name is Becky Truda. If you haven't been here before and on this channel, I talk about decluttering and minimizing and living your best life. Today's video is a quick one. I am going to do a quick 10 minute declutter of my house and the general areas that I have started to feel are becoming a little overwhelming. So my big why this week and why I wanna do this quick declutter is one, I don't have a lot of time. I'm getting ready to take my daughter to the science museum soon. And so I obviously have a outside life outside of YouTube and I don't have time to just sit around and declutter for full days at a time, at least not a lot. And so I need to do a quick declutter. And the other reason why is that this week has been very busy for me and there were several days that I had to stay later at work. And so my house has kind of started to feel a little overwhelming. I haven't been getting rid of things in the same way that I normally would. And I think those seasons of our lives happen and we have the busier seasons, which is the one I'm in right now. So I'm dedicating this 10 minutes and no more because I want to come home to a more peaceful environment, but at the same time, I don't wanna take away time from my family. So let's get started right away. I have a big trash bag of the things that I'm going to donate. And then I have a small bag in case I actually find trash that I can then put into my trash can. Let's get started everybody. So grab your big bag to donate and grab a little trash bag and let's get started because guys, we can't waste any more time living in an environment where we are feeling stressed or unhappy. You want your house to be peaceful. So real quick, I just found my daughter got her report card, which was a very nice report card, a nice little note, it was so sweet. But what I will say as a teacher myself is that at least where we live, they give you four report cards and mine are coming home on the paper, but you can also print them off. Usually there's like an on online site and you can print them off if you want to, but I am not keeping this, which the a hoarder inside of me really wants to because it was a sweet little note from her teacher. But what I will say is that at the end of the year, if I really want to, I can either keep it and it will have all four comments or I can take a picture of it and save it on my computer, which I think is what I'll end up doing because really um, I never kept any of the report cards that I got as a child. My mom did and gave them to me and I don't have any of them. It's not something that I cared about, but um, it's something that me as the mother, I do care about. So I do know that at the end of the year, I will get her final report card and it will have all of the comments on it. So there's no need for me to keep every report card. All right, so this is the like storage closet of things like in here, I just pulled out a bunch of stuff that I had put away and I wasn't sure whether I was ready to get rid of it yet. So I pulled out a bunch of stuff from there. And then here are my summer shoes. I have two pairs of flip-flops that I keep in here. These pants, I'm not sure if I'm ready to get rid of them yet. Um, and then these are a few other things that I'm not sure if we're ready to let go of yet. All right, so now I'm in our bathroom and I'm just gonna quickly go through this area where I keep like extra hair stuff and, and just see if there's anything that I'm ready to get rid of. I know there's at least one or two things because I've been looking at them and just haven't had the energy to take them out. So now's the time.
All right, so real quick, I'm just gonna go through our linen closet and see if there's anything that I can get rid of slash organize it a little bit. I think I have like four minutes left. Um, but these were the two areas that I knew I needed to declutter to feel a little lighter. Um, so I'm gonna look through here and see if there's any like old medicine or anything that I'm ready to get rid of. And so it is so funny, the things and the layers of things that we all have in our house and how things like, this Dove uh, Baby Lotion, I'm pretty sure was given to us when my daughter was born five and a half years ago. So the fact that like I've decluttered so much for like two or three years, and this is the first time I've seen this. So, you know, there's lots of layers in a house and you know, we're all in different places. So maybe you're a lot further along than I am, which is awesome, and maybe you're not, but either way it's fine. Doing a quick declutter is gonna make you feel a little bit better, even though your house may not be perfect and you very well will probably find very interesting things along the way. Um, what do you guys do with your vitamins? Like, I find that me and my husband and my daughter, we have a very hard time remembering to take our vitamins and I never have been able to find a really good place to put them that is not like on a counter, but also not put away. Like I haven't been able to figure out where is a good place where I actually remember to get them because we're definitely not in the habit. So if you have a great place that you keep your vitamins that really helps your brain to trigger to take them every morning, then put a comment below because I could definitely use some advice. Like, I, I don't know, I keep putting it in here, taking it out, putting it in, taking it out, and I swear we never take them. So um, I just went to the doctor and they told me that I should start taking one every day. So I've got to find a better place. Okay guys, so that was my timer. So I didn't make it to my kitchen and it's fine. I said 10 minutes and that's all I'm gonna do. Um, I'm having other things that I need to do today. So that's all the time I have. But I'm gonna take this back uh, into my room real quick. I'm gonna walk you through some of the trash I found and some of the things that I'm ready to let go of. And we'll just count them. Maybe it's 50, I'm hoping it is. Um, but I have filled up the trash bag and I have filled up uh, the donation bag. So that's a good feeling no matter what the number is. Oh, okay. So I went downstairs and I grabbed these because I am getting rid of these two curtain rods that actually used to be in this room, in our bedroom. Um, and I guess, and when we did our kind of like update of this room, I ended up getting new curtain rods that are just lighter and um, prettier than these ones, <laughs> these big clunky ones. And so I'm not gonna wait around to sell them. Um, I might be able to get like 10 or $15, but it's just not worth my time right now um, with where I'm at. So I'm gonna get rid of those. And then in the trash bag. So in this trash bag, let's see what we have. We have a very old, old towel that has a lot of holes in it and a bunch of stains. So it's not worth giving it to anyone. Um, it just kind of needs to go. Um, a really old pillowcase. Uh, plunger and then some random socks that don't have a match anymore. All right, we have an old wash rag. 
the report card I talked to you about earlier, and then just some random trash things that were in the cabinets that I don't even know why they were in there, but you know, trash sometimes just accumulates in random places. And then some hair stuff that you can't really, I mean, I could give this away, but I don't have the time for it right now. So I think it's okay. Um, I just have tried these things. They did not work for my hair. And so I'm very unhappy with those products. And then nail polish, which this is a nice nail polish. Um, I might end up giving it to my sister, but it's one of those things that I didn't like the color. So I'll let her try it. And then, like I said before, this has apparently been in the bottom of our bed, our bathroom closet for God knows how long because it's baby dove. And I'm pretty sure we got this for when Carrie Ann was born. <laughs> so that's been there for a while. So that is already, let's see, that's already like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 things gone. So like, and that's just in trash. So I feel like that was a great start. Now it doesn't look like a whole lot, but like I said, I only gave myself 10 minutes, so I didn't have that much time. Um, but to be able to find this amount of just plain trash to get rid of in my house is already making me feel a little better. And I know it will make you feel a little bit better too. All right, now let's look through this bag. Now the majority of the things in here came from that closet that we've kind of stored um, things in there for a while. I forgot, I have to get rid of this too because I didn't like it. So that's 19, so let's see. Some clothing, so that's 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So I'm already halfway there, which is awesome. And then um, these are, a lot of these are toys that um, my daughter had not been playing with, like older toys that um, she wasn't enjoying with. These are like older toys she wasn't enjoying as much anymore that I noticed. And so we had both put them in the closet and kind of decided if we were t ready to get rid of them. But um, I don't know if she is, so I'm not gonna count them in the thing. I'm gonna let her look through them first. So that was 25, this is 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 34. All right, and then these are the toys. So I'm gonna let her look through these again, and I'm not gonna get rid of any of them until she has. So really for the things that I know I can get rid of right now, 34 things. All right, y'all, so um, right now I have 37 things that I know can go, and I'm pretty sure there are some other toys in that bag that my daughter will be ready to get rid of, um, but I'm not gonna count them right now just because I'm gonna give her a moment to go through them um, before we go to the science museum and pick out the things that she wants to keep, which is fine. All right, so even though I didn't hit my goal of 50 yet in my 10 minutes, I still feel lighter, I still feel better. So as you go through and you're on your own decluttering journey, just remember sometimes you won't hit your goals and that's perfectly fine. But remember that even though this isn't 50 things, it's 37 things and it's still 37 things that I am getting out of my house now and I'm gonna feel much better about. So I want you to get up now. I want you to go get your trash bag and your donut bag and I want you to start that timer for 10 minutes and get moving, get motivated and get out there because you can live a much simpler and easier life if you just put a little bit of effort in every day. Thank you so much for watching Minimal Ease. If you stay tuned and you subscribe to this channel, my next video is coming out next week and it's gonna be more tips and tricks or maybe even a walkthrough of my house, you never know. So hang on for next week and it was great having you here.